Okay, so you have a Samsung Galaxy phone and you have an issue with your camera. Basically, you open up your camera and you get a warning sign. The warning sign says, warning, camera failed. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to give you seven possible steps that you can do right here and right now. And I'm telling you, if you watch this entire video, at least 90% of you guys are going to have your camera working, okay? And now this goes for all Samsung Galaxy phones. It doesn't matter if you have the uh, Samsung Galaxy S series or the Notes the J-series, the A's, uh, the Neos, the, the Cores, the Megas. It doesn't matter. This goes for all Samsung Galaxy phones, okay? So I'm going to give you, again, seven possible solutions, okay? So first thing is first. Go ahead and scroll down, and then you want to click on the settings here. Now, keep note that this is a Samsung Galaxy S5, so each phone that you have, the navigation might be a little bit different, but I'll give you some other examples as well, okay? So once you're in your settings, what you want to do is you want to go down to Application Manager, Application Manager right there, and then right now we're under Download It. So swipe to the left, 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 until you are under All. From here, you want to look for Camera. Everything here is in alphabetical order. So look for Camera. Make sure you see this camera icon, okay? Click on that. Click on Force Stop, okay? Clear Data, okay? And then from here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and reboot your phone. As soon as your phone is booted back up, then you want to click on your camera icon to see if your camera is up and running. If it's not running, we're going to go to the next step, okay? Before I go there, let me just show you another example. For example, uh, here's a, uh, a, a, this is a Samsung Galaxy S6 here, but to get to the application manager, navigation is like slightly different. Scroll down, you go into your, um, your settings here, and then from here you want to look for applications click on applications and then you see application manager click on that and then you're here under, again under download it just go all the way down to your under all then go into camera if you have like uh, s4 or some of the j series and the a series uh, what you have to do is scroll down click on the settings uh, this is an s4 by the way but some of the uh, j's and the a's will be the um, same navigation so click on more and then application manager is here, and then you just keep swiping to the left until you're under all, and again, go into camera, and then force stop and clear data, reboot your phone. Once your phone is up, go ahead and open up the camera. If it's, uh, if it's still not working, then we're gonna go to the next step here, okay? The next step is this. Basically, we wanna make sure that you have Smart Stay turned off, so go into your settings here, and now you wanna look for display, okay? Here's display right here. Click on display. And then we see Smart Stay here. If you have Smart Stay on, you need to turn it off right now. And then go ahead and reboot your phone. Once your phone is booted back up, open up the camera app and see if your phone is, your camera is working. If it does not, we're going to go to the next step. Here's the next step. We're simply going to pop out the battery and the SD card, okay? So it doesn't matter if you turn your phone off, um, leave it on or turn it off now, but you can simply just pop the battery out like that, and then take out the SD card. Leave this out for 10 seconds. 10 seconds is up. Simply go ahead and reinsert your SD card. Pop your battery back in, and then boot up your phone. And then once your phone is booted up, go ahead and open up your camera, and hopefully your camera is up and running. If it's not, we're gonna go to the next step. Now, if you have a phone that doesn't have like a removable back, basically you can't remove the battery, that's fine. Like for example, the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the uh, S7 Edge. What you wanna do is just power, power down your phone and then just go ahead and take out the SD card, wait 10 seconds, put it back in, and then boot your phone up. Then once it's booted up, open up the camera app and hopefully your camera is up and running. If it's not, then we wanna go to this next step. Now this next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe the cache partition. So. What we want to do is power off the phone first. And wiping the cache partition is not going to delete any of your photos or videos. The only thing it's going to delete is your temporary files, basically what I call junk files, okay? And especially if, if your phone's experiencing like any lag or it's, it's being sluggy or have like, um, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's basically pretty slow or it's lagging or you have like, um, it's just acting sluggish, then wiping the cache partition can, um, um, many times actually help that as well. Even if you have like all of a sudden like a lot of battery drain, 
uh, wiping the crash partition can help that as well. Okay, so the, the phone is powered off right now. And now what I want to do is I want to hold down three buttons, okay? So I'm going to hold down the volume up button, press and hold right now, volume up button, press and hold the home button, and then I'm going to press and hold the power button. So all three buttons are held down right now. And then once you see this blue text, you can just go ahead and let go and wait for us to get into the uh, recovery menu here. Okay, here's the recovery menu. Let me focus in on here. And what we, we need to do is go down to where it says wipe data, or I'm sorry, wipe cache partition, okay? So to scroll down, you use the volume down rocker, okay? So go down to wipe cache partition right there, and then go ahead and select the power button to select it, okay? Press the power button. And then from here, it's already highlighted for us. It says uh, reboot system now, so go ahead to select it. Go ahead and press on the uh, power button and wait for this to uh, boot back up. Now, once it's booted back up, same thing. You want to open up your cam your camera and to see if it's up and running. If it's not, then we're going to go to the next step, okay? And this is the next step, and this might sound a little bit ridiculous, but believe me, I've had quite a few phones where it was fixed by simply doing this. Go ahead and turn your phone over. You see where your lens and everything is. Go ahead and give it like a little push around it, okay? Keep pushing it like this, just around the lens area like this, and then just give it some taps, okay? Because it's possible, you know, you could have dislodged something in there, if you, especially if you dropped it. So just give it a couple taps like this, and then go ahead and reboot your phone and then try your camera. If that doesn't work, what you might want to do is go ahead and just try this again, okay? Because uh, several times now this happened to me on my friend's phone where we couldn't figure it out. We actually just kept playing with this and now it's been working. It's been two years now and it's still working perfectly fine. Okay, now if that doesn't work, we're going to go to the next option and we're going to put the phone in safe mode just like a computer if you guys are familiar with putting a computer in a safe mode so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and power off the phone and basically putting it in a safe mode what it's going to do is going to disable all our third-party apps basically all the apps that we downloaded because there could be a rogue app that you downloaded that is causing your camera not to work for instance i had some uh, issues with um uh go flashlight you know, once I installed that, the camera was back up and running. And there's two other apps. I can't remember exactly what the apps were called, but uh, we took those off and the camera started working again. Anyways, the phone is off right here. The phone is off right now. What we want to do is we want to go into safe mode. So what we do is we're going to press down the uh, volume down button and the, uh, the power button simultaneously, okay? So both buttons simultaneously. As soon as I see the uh, Sam Samsung logo pop up here, Go ahead and let go of the power button, but I'm still holding down the volume down button. And we want to hold down the volume down button all the way up to the boot up process, okay? And then we'll know we're in safe mode when it says safe mode down here. So it gives us a second here. Okay, so now we are in safe mode. Now what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and open up your camera and go ahead and see if it works if it works perfect guess what the issue is you have an app that is causing your camera to malfunction so if your camera is working right now what you need to do is you need to scroll down go into your settings again and then from here we're going to go into the application manager again application manager here and now we're under downloaded, okay? So here's our third-party apps. And basically we want to, you want to try to remember which app you downloaded before you start having these issues with your camera, okay? So if you remember what it is, I mean, or take a couple steps, take a couple guesses, and then uh, pick a app, click on uninstall, and then basically just go ahead and reboot your phone. And once you reboot, it's automatically going to take you out of safe mode. And then once you boot it back up, open up your camera, and see if uh, your camera's working. If it's not, then it's another application. So you have to go back into safe mode and start uninstalling like other apps and keep the trial and error, just keep, keep going in that direction, okay? Now the last and final step, guys, is basically do a factory reset. Now all the steps that I've already said, you're not gonna lose any data, except for wiping the cache partition, but the only thing you're gonna lose is your temporary files, your junk files. You know, but all the other the steps, you're not gonna lose any of your videos or uh, your photos. However, this last step, this seventh step, guys, is a factory reset. And I'm sure all of you guys already know 
you do a factory reset, you're going to blow out your entire phone. You're going to lose everything on your phone as if you bought the phone brand new. So before doing a factory reset, of course, what you want to do is you want to do a backup, uh, especially if you have like important pictures and videos and stuff like that. And then once you do um, the factory reset, hopefully your camera is up and running. But I wanted to mention that as the last uh, step because you're going to have to basically format your entire phone. And to do that, basically, you just do this. You go ahead and power off your phone here. And we want to hold those same three buttons where we went to do the uh, wipe cache data. So from here, what you want to do is you want to hold down the volume up button, press and hold right now, press and hold the home button, and press and hold the power button. So all three buttons are held down right now. I'm going to wait for that blue text to come up, and I'm going to let go. Okay, now I'm back into system recovery menu, and then from here, if you remember, we went down to wipe cache partition, but this time we're going to go down to where it says wipe data slash factory reset. Okay, so scroll down, use the volume down button, and then to select it, you click on the, uh, or press the home button. Okay, and then from here, it's going to ask you to reconfirm. Remember again, guys, you are going to lose everything if you do the last step here, okay? So if you're going to do this, Back up what you need to back up before you before you do this, okay? So from here, they want you to basically reconfirm. So go down, scroll down, use the volume down rocker till you get down to where it says yes, delete all user data. Then select it, click on the power button. And then from here, depending on how much um, junk you have on your computer. Oh, from here, okay, sorry, one more step. So from here, it automatically highlights uh, Reboot System now. So go ahead and just click on the uh, power button to select it. And then I'm basically blowing out my entire phone right now. And it'll give, uh, it depends on how much junk that you have in your phone for it to uh, boot back up. And then you get back into the welcome screen as if you bought the phone brand new. And hopefully that last step um, um, gets your camera working. If not, then you're probably gonna have to bring your phone to a repair shop or if you're familiar with opening the back of a phone, there's a couple things that you can do, but you have it requires you to uh, disassemble your phone. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions or anything, just comment below. All right, thanks, bye.